Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so you're making those wedding plans and you're getting things checked off the list and you've got your wedding cake figured out and that is a huge win. But weddings are all about the details and you want everything to tie together, preferably without breaking the bank, right? I was at Hobby Lobby looking at their selection and they had this rustic looking set, which I liked, but I didn't really want to pay $25 for it. I saw they had these other basic ones with a clear handle for $13 and I still thought that was a little bit much so I decided to look online. So I checked out Amazon and eBay which were cheaper but still around $13 or so for the rustic ones and I thought to myself, you know, I think I can do this with things that I have at home. So this video is proof of how easy it is to make custom cake knives at a much lower cost. The ones I'm making in this video are the rustic ones, but you can really use this to do any theme that you have in mind. In fact, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas and maybe I'll use your idea for another video. All right, let's get started. The first thing that I did was I found the cheapest set I could find online, which in my case were the clip ones and I got them for about $5. You might be able to find these or something similar at a local store near you for even less. The rest of the things I used for this project were things I already had laying around the house, like hot glue, jute twine I had left over from when I made my cousin's under the sea diaper cake, a torch, or you can use a lighter, some fishing line and a pair of scissors, and a couple of everyday earrings, or you could use charms or beads or anything that you have that would go with your theme. Once we get our knives out, we're just going to put a dot of hot glue and hold the end of the jute twine, then start wrapping it around the handle we are gonna put a dot of hot glue every so often. You could put hot glue all the way around if you want to, but it's really not necessary. And we're just going to continue all the way around and around until we get to the bottom, winding tightly so that we don't have any gaps. to the bottom and then put a little dab of hot glue to hold it down and smooth it over with your finger but be careful because it's hot you can see here we have these little flyaway threads and the ones in the store had them too but i'm going to show you a little trick to get rid of them take your torch or lighter and move it quickly back and forth all the way around the handle it'll burn up the little strings and make it look like a much cleaner design and it's also going to tighten up the jute wrapped around the hand the important thing is to keep it moving so that you don't burn more than you want See there, now we have a nice professional looking handle. Now it's time for some embellishment. I had several options. I looked at them all and decided I liked the mismatched look. I removed the part that goes through the ear and tied a piece of fishing line to the beading and tied it around my handle. You have a beautiful set of cake knives for just about 20% of what it cost you to buy the equivalent in the store. I really hope you guys try making your own because this was a pretty quick and easy project and it was pretty fun to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!